cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. Last week, we told you about a peculiar controversy involving a mysterious land trust and an oddly shaped property it owns behind people's homes in Holiday. This dispute over a 20-foot-wide parcel that homeowners thought was part of their backyards is driving the people who live there crazy yeah. at this point. But that's not the only odd property that this land trust bought. Eight on your side, consumer investigator Shannon Benkin joins us now because you found something else interesting. I sure did. It's not just oddly shaped land that caught the eye of this investment land trust. I found that in 2008, it purchased a private road after the private owner passed away. And residents tell me the trust threatened to cut off access to their homes if they didn't buy the roadway. Plaza View Drive in Zephyr Hills is a 600-foot-long dead-end road used only by the people who live here to travel to and from their homes. Tina Smith vividly remembers the day in 2008 when a man from a mysterious land trust informed her that it had purchased the private road in a delinquent tax deed sale. He, he's like, we can put anything on, on there. We can put drag strip down there. We can, you know, we can do anything we want to that property. It's not your property. That was the beginning of a battle for about 13 homeowners. It ended when they agreed to open their wallets and buy the road. Now, 12 years later, residents are recounting the ordeal after seeing my report about the same mystery land trust, once again negotiating with desperate homeowners, this time in Aloha Gardens in Holiday. It turns out at at the same time, the investors, known only as 818-239-2215 Land Trust, bought this road in 2008. Public records show it also bought this odd parcel. The 20-foot wide land stretches behind nine homes. Many people living here had no idea that until recently, this land, used as part of their backyards, doesn't belong to them. He can charge me whatever he wants. He can trespass me. Uh, he, he can put whatever he wants back here. He can come swim in my pool and there's nothing I can do about it. Smith and her neighbors ended up forking over a combined $4,000 for the road. Not a bad return for the trust's $1,300 investment, but a fraction of the more than $13,000 residents say the trust wanted. Smith tells me they had no choice. The trust, she recalls, considered putting in a convenience store and cutting off paths to their driveways. If they had blocked your access to right here, how would you have gotten in and out? You would have had to just go through the yard? Yes. Just as they said, everybody could drive through my yard. So who's behind this trust? The only name on public records is local attorney Joseph Perlman. He's the trustee and tells me what his clients are doing is perfectly legal and just business. He explains they bought these parcels because they knew that eventually someone would be willing to pay. Are you surprised to hear that this is still going on all these years later? No, I, I think it's very sad, though. I, I mean, everybody's, you know, wanting a piece of the American pie and they're owning their own home. For somebody to come in and do that, I think it's a shameful act. In the case of the road, residents tell me this happened when the original owner of the roadway passed away and the taxes weren't paid. As for the backyard dispute, one resident has received a trespass warning and another was told that he would have to tear down his swimming pool or buy the land. Neither of their offers have been accepted yet, though, by the land trust. Can we go back to the road for a second? I mean, what happens to that long term? Who officially owns it? Because if you buy the land, you might sell your house. Exactly, and that's what's happening here. A lot of these folks are, you know, the houses are changing hands, people are passing away, but they put this road in all of the original homeowner's mm -hmm. names. So, looked at the deed, it has everyone listed there, but they have to take care of it, and they wonder what will happen as they die, as, the, move. You know, yeah, as they, they move sell. away, yeah. what will happen to this road, could this happen again? We're trying to help them make sure it doesn't. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you, Thank Shannon. You, now, Shannon. if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bankin. You can reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon or give her a call at 1 855 Bankin.